Welcome to Backish. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. We're going to do the Sinestro Core War today, Ooh. which is written by Jeff Johns. Hey. This is uh, like the the Empire Strikes Back of the Jeff Johns Rebirth trilogy. You're saying this is the best book? Mm, yeah. It's the middle book? It's the middle book. Like, yeah. if, if you, I mean, there's many books from <laughs> the time that Jeff Johns did Green Lantern Rebirth to the time that he did Blackest Night. But this is the story that is the most in between those two stories. <laughs> and it's also one of these stories that's like, okay, if you can divide the Green Lantern Rebirth era from Jeff Johns, it would be Rebirth, Sinestro Core War, Blackest Night. Everything is culminating to Blackest Night, which of course we did on this show completely out of sequence. Right. It'd be like watching the Star Wars trilogy and being like, okay, uh, we're going to do uh, Return of the Jedi, A New Hope, and then Empire. Just stupid. But that's the way we roll here on Comic Pop. Hey, at least we know how it ends. <laughs> exactly. You don't yeah. have to worry about it. You, actually, we can refer to things in it when they're talking about, like, the blackest night. Oh, what is it? It's zombies. We did a whole thing. Watch yeah. the episode. Yeah. So It's crazy. Uh, yeah. So is there a Sinestro core? There is a Sinestro core, and it was established before this story. But they didn't call that story the Sinestro core. I mean, they didn't call it the story. No. Right. No, in fact, I feel like this book should just be called the Sinestro Corps. I agree with so you. So that it doesn't sound really stupid. That's interesting you should say that because uh, in my research for this story, I did discover that apparently there was some discussion about what to call it. And when they were developing the story, it was called the Sinestro Corps. Ah. And then they thought it'd be cool to call it the Sinestro Corps War because A, it's got the word war in it, which is always we marketable. All know, hey, that's, that's huge. And yeah. it's huge. Plus, it's Sinestro Corps War, which rhymes. That's kind of funny. No, that sucks. No. I agree. It's kind of hard to say and awkward. I agree. Entirely. It, it sounds like you're having a little bit of a mini stroke. Yeah. It's the Sinestro Core War. <laughs> the what? Sinestro Core War. Core War. Did you mean core or war? Or so, no, no, Core War. <laughs> What's a Core War? <laughs> C-O-R-E? No, no. C-O-R-P-S-W-A-R. A Corpse War? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Pronounce core. Well, so you can technically yes, because there are corpses yeah, in war. Many. They should just call it the Sinestro War. I'm sorry. Did someone? That's exactly what they should have called it. The Sinestro War. The yeah, Sinestro like War. A word. Exactly. Then you're like, wait, did you say Sinestro War? No, I said War. Oh, oh. shit. Because Sinestro's in it, I assume. He's yeah. the leader of the Sinestro Corps. It's also hilarious, by the way. They're they're still developing the idea of the multicolor spectrum. So it's still, it's the Green Lanterns, and then the Sinestro Corps. And that's it. We, yeah. And they're technically the Yellow Lanterns, but Sinestro invented them, so he's like, no, Sinestro Corps. Right. Because it's me. Right. It's not the Yellow Lanterns. So, right, because then someone else could inherit the right. mantle of the leader of the <laughs> Yellow Lantern Corps. So screw them. How dare you? They could also call it the Fear Corps, because that's the element that they right. use. Fear Corps. Well, Fear Corps. That's it's cool. the Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. And but the Sinestro everyone, Corps. But everyone calls them the Green Lanterns. Yes. So if it's the Sinestro Corps, they it should just be them. the Sinestros. I agree. But then Sinestro wouldn't cotton to that because he'd be like, no, there's only one Sinestro. Also, that sounds like they're a baseball team. Right. It'd be like if like, the Nazis were called the Hitlers. Like, no, I'm Hitler. It's just me. That's going to get looped. So <laughs> the, the, the idea of the Sinestro Corps War is actually kind of funny because there's a lot of it, but that there's also a big book. there's also not a lot of it. Because most of it is the Michael Bay movie, where it's like, hey... Uh, oh, flashy things in space. Yeah. It, it's just a war. The Sinestro core war is literally... So Sinestro's like, how about, screw the Green Lanterns, let's kill all of them. And then they do. The, the end. Like, it's not really that way, but it's, you know... I was going to uh, say, because on the cover, they look like they're all dead. Well, it's, 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 it's you know, it's iconography. We're trying to really, it's like... metaphorical. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to skewer them... But literally, kill all these people. ...with insults. <laughs> he doesn't kill every single... In fact, I don't think any of the people on this cover die. Like I said, this was, like, chapter two in the Green Lantern Rebirth era. Don't forget, Green Lantern Rebirth is all about Jeff Johns going, like, okay, Ron Mars and everybody who worked on Green Lantern until I came aboard... I respect what you did. Now throw it all away because Hal Jordan is great. The end. Well, not right. only that, but the best character in all of DC he's, is Green Lantern. Well, he's the greatest Green Lantern, and the Green Lanterns are obviously the coolest, so obviously he is the greatest among the DC pantheon. Right. Except for Flash. He's also awesome. And it has to be Barry Allen. Hal gets a distress signal. He goes to Oa. They, uh, while they're on their way, they encounter a yellow lantern ring. 
which they have encountered. In fact, Batman was invited to join the Sinestro Corps because of his ability to instill great fear. Batman's like, nah. So that already happened? That already happened. Yeah, anything cool like that, mm -mm, forget it. If you want to see Batman or Superman, uh, you can like sit down and shut up because this is about green freaking lanterns. All right. Well, it's about yellow lanterns. So what's well, Sinestro, Sinestro been up to? He just, uh, he's just tooling around? He's been biding his time and gathering his resources. Oh, I see. And so uh, Sinestro has actually been working on his own core. He's been building his own core. Yeah. Remember that uh, during Emerald Twilight, uh, Hal went crazy because he was possessed by Parallax. Yeah. And then left a whole bunch of Green Lanterns in space to die, uh, but with a little bit of power so they can get home. Uh, but then he takes over the battery, and then they wake up Sinestro, and then he kills him, blah, blah, blah. And we did Green Lantern Rebirth. Yeah, and there were no Green up. Lanterns except for Kyle Rayner. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So after Hal resumes the title of Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. And reignites the sun? That's after That's after uh, Final Night. No, I'm talking about Green Lantern Rebirth. That story where Hal oh, Jordan comes back, yes. gets rid of the Great Temples, expunges uh, Parallax, all that stuff. Um he also helps to repopulate the Green Lantern Corps. Oh, and by banging everybody! No, he's not. He, it's not a genetic <laughs> thing. It's a. It's you're chosen by the by by the power battery, and more specifically by uh, the Green Lantern known as Mogo, who is a living planet. Not unlike Ego, but Mogo's not a dick. <laughs> it's really it. Do all uh, living all planets right. end in Go? You know, it's funny. Uh, no, I don't think so. But mm. the two most prominent ones do. And so it might as well stand to reason that all of them. Are, are they mean, like are brothers? Are more living planets? No, they're from different universes. Oh, okay, just their and names are very line. similar. I agree. And they're also living planets. Yes. Right. Mogo, the... Yeah, Green Lantern Planet. The Green Lantern Planet is actually But not the Green Lantern Planet, which is Oa. Yes. That's the planet that <laughs> the, the planet. Guardians dwell on that houses the power battery. Right, we're talking about the planet that is a Green Lantern. Yes. Okay. Mogo's the one who like kind of determines... He's like the secretary who's like, okay, uh, this goes there, this goes there. He determines which recipient gets a Green Lantern ring. You oh. know, like, when a Green Lantern dies, he's like, okay, this designates this person. Phew! And so, it stands to reason if, if Mogo dies, then so too does the core, because it, the, the rings will just go to anyone. And that would be chaos, unless you read Green Lantern Earth 1, where that's awesome, and that's exactly what happens. Uh, but, Ooh. and Mogo has no bearing on it. That it's, sounds really fun. Oh, it's, it's dope. What you've asked before, so what's Sinestro doing? He's biding his time. He's building his own core, just like Hal and the Green Lantern Corps, this like fledgling core. A rebuilding. It's they're re they've rebuilt. There's so many more Green Lanterns now. There's like thousands of them across the, the, the galaxy. Mm. And Sinestro's like, oh, no, you don't. So he builds his own core. And the best way to do that for him is to go to the antimatter universe uh, into the planet Quard, which is where the weapons makers were, where he actually got a yellow lantern in the first place. Mm. So he sets up shop in an antimatter universe, so obviously no one's going to look for him there or find him there, so he like, sets up shop there. Uh, he sends out a yellow lantern ring, and the green lantern's like crapping themselves trying to figure out what to do about it. And so uh, Kyle goes to check it out, and Kyle is interesting because uh, when Jeff Johns went like, okay, so Hal Jordan's obviously the best, uh, let's get rid of everybody, and uh, everyone else was like, yeah, but for like at least 10 years, we've been following the adventures of Kyle, who replaced Hal, and I kind of like him. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do with him now? You can't just make him another Green Lantern, then he's redundant. You know, then he's Jon Stewart or Guy Gardner. Right. You know, so uh, Jeff Johns, in his infinite wisdom, was like, okay, so remember how, like, Parallax is the embodiment of, like, fear? Well, how about there's also, like, an entity that's the embodiment of, like, willpower? And, like, the more Green Lanterns there are, like, the stronger and more manifested it becomes, but it needs to, like, actually be in a person in order to, like, exist. And that'll be called Ion. And Ion will go into Kyle Rayner, and then Kyle Rayner will become Ion, and he'll be like a Green Lantern, but, like, way cooler, and I don't have to write stories about him. That sounds right. confusing and so, bad. He, uh, well, he could satisfy people who really like Kyle Rayner by saying, oh, don't worry, Kyle Rayner is super awesome Yes, because he has this thing in him mm -hmm. and he's over there. <laughs> and, but you can't complain because I made him Ion. Right, because he knows he's writing for comic book fans who are like, <laughs> I don't care if there's never an Ion series. All I need to know is that Kyle Rayner is important. Mm -hmm. That being said, there was an Ion series and Kyle Rayner was important. Not important enough to not be completely kidnapped by the Sinestro Corps immediately after the story starts. Yeah, but then uh, there's like one person who's like, what about Guy Gardner? Johns likes Guy Gardner because Guy Gardner was a Green Lantern and and fulfilled a role. It's why, for no reason, in Green Lantern Rebirth, he just becomes a Green Lantern again. Hal Jordan's just like, 
You're a Green Lantern again. Here's a ring. Ah! Like, and also, get rid of that warrior thing that you were, where you had like an alien parasite in you that made you turn your arms Weapons. into guns and stuff, because that was stupid. I think we could all agree on that. And three people in the comments are like, fie on you, I disagree. Warrior was the best era of Guy Gardner. There is a weakness in the Green Lantern core that is part of like the Book of Oa that's made by the Guardians, and it is that they can't kill. Mm. You can't use your ring to murder people. Okay. And if you do, or try, your ring will turn off. Mm. Okay. And okay. then you gotta go back, and then the Guardians have to like judge you right. and decide whether or not you were allowed to yeah. resume your mantle as a Green Lantern. Because like, here's the thing, we're still not gonna be like, oh, you were right to kill somebody. Because you're well, never right. Well, you didn't even get a chance to kill somebody. Like, you were like, yeah, and like you turn it into a spear and it goes towards somebody, the ring will turn off. Because it senses your your desire. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it's like a safety protocol. Exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. But what if I use the ring to, like, grab a physical object mm -hmm. and then throw it at somebody really hard to kill them? Well, the ring will know that you're about to kill them. And it will stop you from yeah. throwing. What if I don't know how hard I'm throwing it and it's, you know, I kill can them by accident? Can you kill someone accidentally? I assume That's yes. a good question. I don't know. I feel like you can, yeah. but the ring should also have countermeasures for that. Like, the fuck is that? It's a Green Lantern. <laughs> They're aliens, man. They There's look like lots everything. of aliens. <laughs> That's Manatee Chin. That one is really shitty looking, though. They're all really weird. <laughs> it's just to show to you the spectrum of aliens yeah. across the board. Man, a lot of aliens suck. Well, yeah, they, they may think hey, we look he like He has crap. a great personality. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that Green Lantern is married and has four children. So Kyle is kidnapped by the Sinestro Corps. What and happened to the ring? The yellow ring. The yellow ring absorbs him and then oh, leaves. That's how he gets captured. Yes. It's and a trap. It, big time, <laughs> Akbar. It looks like he is unmade. Yeah, Jesus. But they immediately go like, oh, he must have been teleported. And I'm like, I wouldn't jump to that conclusion. <laughs> it looked he, real bad. He... He screamed bloody murder and looked like he was ripped apart on the atomic level. And they're like, yeah, and then reassembled someplace else. And I'm like, you hope? Yeah, that would be nice. What, what happens in a black hole when someone gets sucked in? They're basically just compressed into well, nothing. We don't know. Maybe the black hole puts them back together on the other side. Spoilers, it doesn't. So <laughs> Kyle does get put back together and he's on Quard in the antimatter universe. Mm. And all the Quardians, the original indigenous people, are, have been slaughtered. Oh. Because Sinestro's like, ah, I need all these people out of here. Yeah, uh, the thing. I need this planet, you're in my way. Yeah. yeah. So Kyle's like, oh crap. Well, Wait, were they the weapon makers? Yes, the Quardians. So he got what he needed from them. Yeah, right? they built the battery and we're good to go. Oh yeah, because well, you're, you're never going to need weapon. anything else from them. <laughs> I, I don't. I've got, the, I've got the battery, I've got my ring, and you know how like the, the Owens, or the Guardians, they represent, you know, the, the, the surveyors and protectors of the Green Lantern Corps, so too there must be some kind of a Guardian or Guardian League that is that, that safeguards and powers and protects the Sinestro Corps. You know what I mean? Like, right. It, it, Sinestro's clearly you just don't have like, to make everything no, the exact same. No, Sinestro's because he no, was a Green them. Lantern. Remember, he was a Green Lantern, right. and he was the best of them until how Jordan showed up and spoiled everything. So, like for him, he's like, okay, so I'm gonna make my own core with blackjack and hookers, and it's gonna be exactly like the old core I got kicked out of, only to be better because I'm in charge of it, and it'll look exactly like the one that kicked me out. And don't you just love me yet? And it's Including like, other okay. guardians. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's only just one, but you really only need one. So, uh, with the guardian that he chooses. A disgraced guardian. This is true. So, uh, Kyle tries to call the core on his ring. Mm. And he's like, hey, I'm effed. And then, the manifestation of the person he's talking to turns into Sinestro. And he's like, they can't hear you, Kyle. But we can. And then all the other Sinestro core members show up. And it turns out there's like thousands of them. And they're all it's, scary looking. And of course they're all scary looking. Uh, and so they show up and they beat the crap out of Kyle Rayner. Um, while that's oh, going just, like, on, they kick him and stuff. Like, uh, uh, well, they, like, they, they they beat him up, they hold him down, they oh, you know they pants him, they put his head in the toilet, that kind of thing. While that's happening, and he doesn't have the willpower to stop him. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah. only one man. Yes, but he is Ion. Oh, Don't yeah. forget! I forgot he's, he's Ion. Ion. Yeah. Oh, Which also, means he should be able to wipe the floor with them. Well, this is I true. Mean, but there are a lot of Green, uh, Sinestro Corps members. So while Kyle is getting the snot kicked out of him. Uh, the other Green Lanterns are just kind of like, oh crap, what are we going to do about Kyle, blah, 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 what are we going to do? And so one of these dopey Green Lanterns that you guys don't like so much suddenly gets assassinated Oh, from a sniper, Sinestro Corps member, who is just like, I mean, it's treated like a sniper. In fact, I believe Guy Gardner identifies him as such, but it's clearly just a bug monster that is going like this, and then like, pew! 
<laughs> but he's got really good eyesight, I guess. But he is shooting the shit out of these Green Lanterns, and he completely assassinates one of these dudes. And then opens up the, the gateway for a bunch of Sinestro Corps members to go, like, kick their ass and murder them. Okay. Because the Sinestro Corps does not have that non-murder weakness. Right. So the Sinestro Corps can kill the Green Lanterns, and the Green Lanterns can't kill them back. So they're screwed. Totally. <laughs> well, they could put them in, like, prison. Yeah, they except for the fact that it's because harder. there's so many more Sinestro Corps members yeah. and they can kill you that, like, good luck making your box. Right. Because I just made a machine gun. <laughs> yeah. So they, they just mop the floor with the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, so Sinestro is like, okay, so I've got a plan for you, Kyle. So they beat him up, they, they hold him down, and then Sinestro conjures a surgeon-like scalpel, which opens up Kyle's chest. And then with surgical-like precision, he pulls the ion entity out of Kyle Rayner hmm. and then shoves it into a box. So is that just because, nice. like, I can manifest whatever I want with yeah. the ring? Yeah, right. Including a scalpel that can remove the ion. Uh, Precisely. That's what I wanted and that's what I got. Mm -hmm. Well, the ring does make you your, your greatest yeah. desires manifest. There you go. I guess. Also, the weird. ion creature, it's like a physical like thing that's like sitting in him, I guess. Yeah. That you can like touch and like pull out. Yes. It's like in between his lungs, just kind of nestled in there. Right? I, I assume it's like, <laughs> it's metaphorical yeah. until it isn't. <laughs> but really, there is a guy in there, though. And so they yank him out, they throw him in a box, and you're like, okay, so thanks for that. Now Kyle is nothing. Except no. Let's add insult to injury. Because now that Kyle is ionless, mm -hmm. they make him feel really bad, thereby lowering his willpower. You know, oh. they're like, hey, your girlfriend got stuffed in a refrigerator, and hey, your mom died. You Whoa. remember that? And he's like, aw. And then Parallax shows up, and Parallax's like, great, now you're ready for me to go into you. Oh, no. Because remember, re remember when Hal had Parallax inside of him, and, yeah. and then Kyle replaced you with yeah. him? Well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to replace the replacement with the thing that I don't like that happened to Hal. Ah. So, and by the way, when Kyle becomes Parallax, he just looks like Parallax. Like, Thanks a lot, Jeff. I, I'm inside a Green Lantern. I'm just going to look like the, the bad yeah. guy that I was when I became Hal Jordan. So, Except I get an even more stupid mask. Well, and, because, well, that's actually... That, that's really Kyle's mask. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little, a little twist, a little Kyle well, Rayner also, twist on it. Also, whenever Kyle, whenever Parallax goes into people, apparently he makes their hair a little white. And when he was in Hal, it made him look like he was just old. Now he's got like this skunk-like Rufio stripe in the middle of his hair. So <laughs> you never and know I've got where evil the white's teeth. gonna show up. Yeah, but it's coming. It's like, wow, you're totally, you're, you're, you're totally black haired. I don't understand. How come, how come it was over here for, for, uh... It's all different well, it's for everybody a, else. Yeah. Everybody has their own unique... Hey, be similar. lucky I didn't give you, like, white pubes. Yeah, exactly. You, you, That'd you, be embarrassing. This is true. Oh. John Stewart has a gun. Well, John Stewart is ex-military. He knows how weapons work, so he manifests them with his but ring. But he can't kill anybody yeah, with it. Yeah, he's just kicking butt with it. He's just wounding them or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Or destroying their constructs. Yeah. Or... Yeah, he's really, like weakening them and then kicking their butts. Right. So he does. Because they have like shields and stuff. So oh, yeah. he, he knows mm -hmm. that it's not gonna kill them. Yeah. Is that an acorn? Yeah, well that's 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 fired by Chip. Oh the squirrel. The squirrel lantern. Right. It's not a squirrel. He's an alien squirrel. Who loves acorns? It's just I think he's going with theming. Because if he loved it he would just make it and then eat it. You know? It's not he wouldn't be throwing it at like Ram Sinestros. <laughs> anyway, so they decide they're gonna try and regroup and then over their heads whiz, I don't know, over a dozen rings that are all on their way to their new owners because their previous owners have been slaughtered by a Sinestro Corps. Right, right. And they're like, oh crap. Hey, at least they won't run out of it's lanterns. It's a lot of people dying. It's a lot of people dying. Yeah, well, that's true. Why does Parallax have to go into a green lantern instead of one of the yellow lanterns, which is apparently... We're humiliating like, them. We're beating them at their own game. Yeah, we're destroying that time them. that we were in the greatest green lantern ever, we'll do it again. Well, and Parallax was imprisoned in the power battery. It's all insult to injury. We're just, yeah. we're just, we're, de we're demoralizing them. We're ruining them. Also, here's the thing. So like, everyone on the Sinestro Corps, they're all bad guys. Yeah. And, in fact, Sinestro enlists a few celebrity bad guys to make it that much cooler. But they're all bad guys. They're all part of a core of bad guys that's like the inverse of a core of good guys. And whenever you do that, like the Justice League has formed because a bunch of altruistic superheroes who all have a common goal. And even if they have like conflicts of interest, they're all trying to do good and stop evil, right? Yeah. 
with that, whenever evil tries to go like, we're gonna form a legion of doom, they always, always double cross each other. Yeah. Because there's never like, we're all, okay, we're going to destroy everything and rule. Who rules? Well, obviously me. No, I'm, and then it becomes a <laughs> right. nightmare. I only did this so that I could rule. They constantly hoist themselves by their own petards. Right. And so I don't know why Sinestro thought that it was ever <laughs> going to work to and it wouldn't happen this well, time. Well, it's named after me. Everyone knows that I'm in charge. Yeah. So we find out that Sinestro has enlisted a few key members to his core. Sin Jesus Christ. Superboy freaking Prime. What? Yeah. Who, of course, has his own plans. Cyborg Superman. Oh my God. Hank Henshaw. No. With his own plans. Why does he keep coming back? Because he can't die. And he's actually joined for a good reason. Okay. And it's... It has everything to do with what you just asked. <laughs> and their guardian is the anti-monitor from Crisis and Infinite Earths, who's been resurrected and put on the Sinestro core. I'm sorry, is this the Superboy that punched reality? Yeah, that's the one. And he's a yellow lantern now. Yeah. Because he wants to go to Earth and kill everybody and take over. Yeah, that happened. When was when did that happen? Uh, Infinite Crisis. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <sighs> so. Okay. So these are our celebrity members of the Green yeah. Lantern Corps. I mean, to be the, fair, the Anti-Monitor is a much better Guardian than any of the other Guardians that's on Oa. Yeah. Madness. I love the fact that the Anti-Monitor is the Guardian. <laughs> By the way, that's also genius because Sinestro's origins as a villain come from the Anti-Matter universe, and they never really drew any comparisons mm. to the fact that the Anti-Monitor comes from the Anti-Matter universe. Right. It's not like this empty place that we've never been before. Right. A very specific. And it's not a different Anti-Matter universe. Yeah. yeah. So it would stand a reason that he would do okay in the antimatter universe so he's why would the anti-monitor agree to like work for sinestro well i guess because he has plans i don't think he's working for yeah, sinestro yeah. Well, well sinestro thinks he is yeah well, why would sinestro think that the anti-monitor well, remember just... the anti-monitor doesn't technically work for sinestro it's more like the anti-monitor is like yeah i'm down for this for this role like right. i'll be the guardian of your core yeah because i'm probably just going to destroy the universe anyway and not only that but like i'm the guardian which means i'm like I'm bigger than all of you guys. Yeah. yeah. We also were introduced to a group of lanterns called the Lost Lanterns. Mm. And the Lost Lanterns you have seen before in a book called Aliens vs. Green Lantern. Oh my god. Remember the disgraced lanterns who lost their rings because of Hal Jordan and then were like, we're, we're still going to be Green Lanterns even though we don't have Green Lantern rings. Yes. Well, they exist. They're in continuity, and they become Green Lanterns again. <laughs> so when they become Green Lanterns again, they form like a cadre, like a little team, yeah. who all hate Hal Jordan <laughs> and don't trust him. <laughs> and so Hal is now forced to work with the Lost Lanterns who are like, okay, well, we're going to try and like lick our wounds and get back together, but screw you, Hal Jordan, you suck. Spoilers, the Lost Lanterns learn to trust Hal Jordan, and they all work together. Sure, of Also, course. most of them die. And by the way, how do they die? They're killed by Parallax, who's like, ah, you guys! Remember, remember when I left you in space? Remember when you blamed Hal Jordan, the greatest Green Lantern of all time, who was totally blameless? Yeah, it was me. And now I'm in a different body, but it's just me again. Does this costume really make you mad? See, it's blameless. It's well, totally blameless. Kill you. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, Hal Jordan never did that. <laughs> don't forget no, how wrong I'm pretty. You I'm pretty sure he did. No, nah, no. Nah. So while the core is pooping themselves, and the Sinestro core are just going across the galaxy, killing and f hatching their nefarious schemes because they have another. Phase one, attack right. the Green Lantern Corps and kick their ass. Phase two, or, or 1A, uh, <laughs> kidnap Kyle Rayner and make him parallax. But these phases all kind of like fall apart towards the middle range. <laughs> but uh, phase 1A, get Kyle Rayner to become parallax. Phase two, uh, attack them. Make it so there are no more Green Lanterns. Hmm. So we'll see that hatching in a little bit. But while that's all happening, the Guardians, who are my least favorite characters in all of DC because they're such ineffectual bastards who are hypocrites and I thought they were all dead. Oh, no, they're back. But also, Ganthet's there, and he's got like kind of like a girlfriend, but in order to be a Guardian of the Universe, you have to expunge your emotions. So Ganthet's kind of like a rogue, and so is his girlfriend. So mm. they have to like love each other in secret, but the Guardians all know, and they're ready to kick him out. So is they're... Like Anakin? Yeah, only if Anakin didn't become Darth Vader at the end. Ah, <laughs> so it needs like a little earring to go with his ponytail to be such a douche <laughs> he's not a douche he's cool yeah, he's the only he's one, the only one who, not a douche he's the only one who like keeps recruiting humans into the Green Lantern Corps <laughs> cause he like he's like they're, they're all very important the Guardians are all talking amongst themselves in their secret chambers and they're going over the Book of Oa and within the Book of Oa is a prophecy that was told to them by Abin Sur who bequeathed his ring to Hal Jordan in the first place but who was originally the greatest Green Lantern Hmm. And Abin Sur had gone through some shit, and he discovered that uh, 
there had there there was some crap that was going to happen in the future that was bestowed upon him from some sage and well not really a sage more like a jailer who was tormenting him and also told him like the foretold the end of the green lantern corps right uh, and the end of the green lantern corps how would corps, he know uh, because he's a bad guy and you know because because it's a vague prophecy we need hey, to make it up hey thank god these are, there are pictures in this book oh yeah well otherwise you wouldn't read it so <laughs> i like that they have to stand on the book it's like it's so big it's, just make it longer i don't know, like <laughs> yeah, we'll make it digital. They can all yeah. have, they have the, their Why own versions of it. Everybody to turn to page 15. These. Like, so they're all talking about the prophecies and how the Green Lantern Corps can't know about it because if they don't know about it, then they can't make it come to pass, which is sound logic. Yeah. So they burn the pages from the Book of Oa that have the prophecies in them. Of course, because they're assholes. Yeah, and the prophecies, by the way, say like, Ion is important and there's a special true Ion that's a member of the Green Lantern Corps that will become the greatest uh, Ion possessor, blah, blah, blah. Basically the idea being that like, okay, enough time has passed. Kyle was Ion, all, all the fans shut up. Now comes the great humiliation of Kyle Rayner. Because fuck him. Because Kyle, uh, Kyle Hal. Jesus, Hal Jordan is the best. He yeah. is the best, and Kyle dared to replace him. Should any Guardian that burns the pages of the Book of Oa just be immediately kicked out? No, they all are in agreement, yeah. except for Ganthet and his girlfriend. But that being said, they're like, don't worry, we're gonna replace them with new pages. Oh, you're just going to make shit up? We're gonna, oh, yeah. We're going to lie. Oh, don't yeah. worry. Oh, no, they don't lie. They're like, we're going to make up new rules. Like, basically, they keep getting their asses handed to them, and they're, so they're like, we're too weak. We, we can't win. We should make up some new rules. Let's start with rule number one and maybe rule number two, and we'll figure out the rest later. And write them down and put them in the book, and now they're in, and now they're in power. That happens later and, in the book. And the first rule is you can kill now. Yeah, that's, that's the rule that happens later. Yeah, of course. Of course. They, they, they just keep getting slaughtered. So they're like, okay, rule number one, uh, uh, the gloves are off. And so the lantern's like, oh, sweet. <laughs> so they just start slaughtering other Sinestro Corps members. Except for a couple who are like, uh, that's horseshit. Right. Well, that, demonstrates, that demonstrates great fear. Right. Guardians. That's true. And the Guardian's yeah. like, who are you to, to deny? Shut up. And, get out of here. Yeah. I like how there's practically a Black Lantern in this book. Oh, yeah. We got it. She's created for the story, by the way. Great it's, fear is spreading throughout the galaxy because, right. A, the Corps is afraid. B, anyone who catches wind of the Sinestro Corps war is afraid. And so, as a result, the Sinestro Corps becomes more powerful. Right. The rings are getting more powerful than the Green Lantern Corps. Mm. So, uh, that, that doesn't should, look good. They were well, already beating them. Exactly. So, that should not allow the Green Lanterns to lose. Oh, yeah, I know. This is dumb. So, like, the whole idea is willpower. Yes. Like, if you have strong enough willpower not to be afraid, mm -hmm. even though you're going to die, mm -hmm. you're stronger than fear. I agree. So, fuck you, fear. Yeah, well, that's how, that's how Hal Jordan keeps winning. But, like, what about the other ones? What about Manatee Mouth? Yeah. He okay, Manatee Mouth never should have been a lantern. <laughs> wow. I, like I said, I, I think I think you got Tough a real problem with aliens. <laughs> Tough <but fair. laughs> I still agree, but I, you know, I gotta admit it's a little harsh. Hal's gonna, ah! Hal's gonna charge up the Green Lantern ring along with his other human buddies, yeah. and then uh, Parallax shows up and he's like, "Hey, hey, remember when your dad died, and you tried to listen in on his conversation through the radio?" but he had one last thing to say, and you never got to hear it? Well, I know what it is, I'm not gonna tell you. But here's the thing, that one last thing may have been something really inspirational and strong, and it could give you great courage, or it could have been like him saying, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna die. And it would make you feel like your dad was a coward in the last moments. So, but uh, they don't reveal what it is at the end of the story, so don't get excited oh about that. Oh my God. <laughs> Because let me guess, it's, it's nothing. It's too juicy. Yeah. We're not going to waste it on chapter two out of three. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, so Parallax fights Hal. What are you, what are you looking for? I was looking at this oh, giant wait, wait. space centipede. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because here's the thing. A friend of mine last night found one of these centipedes in her house. Oh, awesome. It, it's Japanese. It's called a Mukade. space centipedes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Space Where they have the legs on the outside? It was all glowing yellow and had a ring. It's crazy. Except, <laughs> like, it's just this centipede, but it's like... Yep. Yay big? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Those are horrible. And they're poisonous and terrifying. And oh, like, it's one of the three insects in Japan where like, don't fuck with this bug. Mm hmm This is actually, that's one of two Asian insects that are like, what are they doing in America? Yeah. So. Like, it is the cave cricket, by yeah, the way. Yeah, the cave cricket's also Japanese. Yeah. Hey, Come birds. Here. Get on these cave crickets. <laughs> they're too big. They're too big and gross. And they're <laughs> blind, so they just jump at you. By the way, they also wouldn't be outside. They, by the way, cave crickets don't nest either. Unlike all other crickets, they just they just exist. 
They're just everywhere. Yeah, and they only go to your basements and attics. So like, you know, that's where moisture is. Yeah. So Thanks. which you've got finger does the centipede wear the ring on? <laughs> I think the first segment. You've got space centipede. Yeah. You've got space wasp. Yeah. Yes. You've got, I guess, a parasite. Sure. Um, yeah. Space shark mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then space dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Only scary things. Can wield fear rings. No, I get that, but still great fear. So many of these scary things are just normal things on Earth. Yes. But space wasp, space shark mouth, yeah. space centipede. Space. Oh, yeah. wait until you meet. <laughs> wait until you meet the Green Lantern, who is also a sentient wasp, whose name is Buzd. <laughs> really? Buzd. Yep. <laughs> So we go to Korrigar City, where uh, Natu, who is a Green Lantern and this, of the same race as Sinestro, mm. is kind of like in charge of this planet. Okay. The way that Sinestro wanted to be, and I think was for a time. Like he was a great, he was a great terrible dictator who subjugated his people, and so they hate him. Right. And then she shows up, and she's like, "Yo, I'm here. I'm a Green Lantern, just like." Sinestro was when he subjugated you, uh, but so maybe but I don't want to totally say different. that out loud. But I'm cool. <laughs> I'm and, cool though. Yes. And so Sinestro shows up and he's like, yeah. hey, you're doing great, Natu. You're doing great. Listen, uh, I'm going to kill you now. And so they go into the sky and they fight and he's like, okay, so I, I put on a big show, but I'm not going to kill you. Oh. I'm going to make it look like you beat me. It's phase 29 of <laughs> A ridiculously <Sinestro's>, circuitous <laughs> scheme. <laughs> That's true, but also part of like Sinestro's like world tour of getting back at people who wronged him. All right, it's all theatrics. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. So, and also the people of Korrigar City want Natu to like rule them. Right. And she's like, no, that's how you get dictators. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be this. She's actually like a doctor. So she's like, no, my, it's totally the opposite. Like I serve you, I protect you. Right. I take care of you, I heal the wounded. And they're like, no, but like you have the power of the Green Lantern ring. Take over and run everything. She's That's like, what oh Green my Lanterns God. do. And he's like, That's all we know. Yeah. And not only yeah. that, but you were chosen for this. So why would we not yeah. believe right. that you're a good person who has been chosen? Because Sinestro was. And, yeah. he ran, and he ran you people into the ground. Like, that's why. And he's, they're like, pee on us. So they. Uh, <laughs> it sucks that Sinestro <laughs> was chosen because like it kind of yeah. ruins the whole Green Lantern. <laughs> it sucks yeah. if you yeah. meet a guardian because you're like, oh, it's all bullshit. Bro. Oh. oh, this whole thing about them being good? It's a lie. It's not a even lie. a lie. They're just it's random like, people. They're just, they're just the ones who didn't die. So thanks. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> Sinestro's part of his scheme now involves, he's like, okay, so these are- Okay, so we, 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 let's hear what's going on. Humiliate okay. Korrigar City, uh, humiliate Kyle Rayner, uh, uh, defeat Hal Jordan, but leave him alive and then bail. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, take vitamins. Yes, uh, and then slaughter a whole bunch of Green Lanterns. But the problem is, all these rings keep going to new recipients, and Mogo keeps telling them where to go. So we'll go to Mogo, and of course, Mogo can't wear a giant ring, because that would be ridiculous. So Mogo has the ring deep in his core. Uh. So they're like, okay, so we're going to go to Mogo, we're going to drill inside of him, and then we're going to break the ring that's inside of him. Okay. And that that way, when, when we kill Green Lanterns, the rings will just drop. Right. And so eventually we will run out of Green Lanterns. Okay. You know, eventually we will win. Yeah. Because people keep For getting good. chosen and then people keep showing up. Hi, I got a ring. They go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get in line. Go kill that guy. <laughs> what or, do you mean or, kill that guy? Put, put him in a, put, punch him with a, with a, with a giant boxing glove. <laughs> or, or put him into a, into, put him in a, in a humongous uh, mouse trap. Ooh, ooh, can I put him in a race car and then rocket him over a track? <laughs> you love that race car. That's because it's so bad. It's so stupid. But it's also like the most Green Lantern thing he does in that whole movie. <laughs> okay, if yep. the Green Lantern shit that they do is cheesy, then yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, it kind of is. Put him into a giant catapult and launch him far over there. <laughs> oh, that might kill him. Yeah. Hang on, should I, uh, should I shut the ring off for that? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. What trajectory is it? It's, oh, yeah, that would have killed him. I'm oh, sorry, I yeah, can't do no, it. He went into the sun. So, uh, you gotta go talk to the Guardians now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, you're, you're in trouble. Off, you jerk. <laughs> you miscalculated. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a mathematician. I didn't do the astrophysics. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have tried the ring, to Actually, do the something. ring will do that for you. Oh. So, anyway, they fight. Uh, what? Who's fighting Everybody. now? Everybody. Oh. What happened ha to the planet? Well, Hal gets, is getting his butt kicked by Parallax, who's making, like, manifestations of Kyle Rayner. Who's, by the way, like, he's not Kyle. Kyle's, like, way in the back. Yeah. Uh, and you can't get to him. And Kyle did, like, prophesize there was a way to get to him. And it's, like, through a painting. He's like, if you get this painting, I will, I'll be able to come out. What? But, yeah. Don't worry about it. It, it. it happens later. 
when they free Kyle from Parallax. Uh, That's weird uh, and so, dumb. So he's making he's making like manifestations of Hal and, and Kyle, and they're punching him, and he's getting his butt kicked. And then the Lost Lantern Corps shows up. Uh, and they're like, we're going to help we'll you. you. Meanwhile, Superboy Prime goes to Earth, and he's just sitting there like... <laughs> you guys couldn't fight aliens mm -hmm. without any rings. Yeah. Oh, you mean xenomorphs? Yeah. No. Although, it was a different version of them, because uh, Salak dies in... A, in a GLVA, so he's and he's not dead in this. All right, so, it is a different so version of them. Something's different. But right. you've you've met them. It, it, the concept is not foreign. Right. That's more of like an Elseworlds book. Yes, yeah. very much so. So uh, the the Sinestro Corps is like we needed. Okay, we're gonna fight a big planet. What are we gonna use to get there and to fight this giant planet? Because by the way, Mogo doesn't like grow arms and legs and punch people or anything. Right. Nor does it shoot beams. It's just it it's just a living planet that has a Green it's Lantern a in it. It's and a it, sentient thing. Yeah, it's a sentient secretary. So and and by the way, it's full of like greenery and stuff. Like it's a it's a cool habitable right. planet. But anyway But I'm assuming no sentient life like No, no, people there's no indigenous people in yeah. Mogo. But are there like animals that live on it? I, I don't assume? recall if there's animals. I, I think if it is it's like it's like fish at most. Alright. By the way, it would be great if Alien versus Green, Green Lantern was in continuity, because we know what lives on the surface of Mogo. An entire cadre of xenomorphs. Right. So it's like, hey, let's unleash the xenomorphs onto the Sinestro Corps. Oh, and also doom the galaxy because now we've got <laughs> xenomorphs who, if they impregnate a Sinestro Corps member, maybe will create a Sinestro infused power xenomorph. Oh. Or what if, like, the, Z the, the Sinestro the Corps ring gives give it a, a ring to, to like, oh. the, the alien queen, which is a book I want to read now, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on her tail. Yeah. There's actually a number of planets. There's Quard, there's Warworld, and then there's, like, a sentient city that's kind of like Dannyland from Doom Patrol but it's like a bad city that hates Guy Gardner and so it goes to Mogo and it's like we're gonna screw up everything as long as I get to punch Guy Gardner in the face so anyway uh, uh, it, it so Parallax murders a couple of members of the Lost Lanterns including like cool former like badass like Lobo allegory Green Lantern member Jack Chance so we get rid of him because he's like a vestige of the 90s that nobody wants to remember. And uh, Is that the blue guy? Yeah, it's the blue guy. Okay. And so the so Hal and the the surviving members of the Lost Lantern Corps and a couple other like cool Green Lanterns uh, go to Quard and they go to like Sinestro's lair. Not lair, okay. but like his, his like... His throne room? Or? It, 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 I don't think it's his. I think it's oh. more like he inherited it. Right, it was there. Uh, he took up residence. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, they're... So they, they're going to fight Sinestro? Then, right? No. Oh. No, Sinestro is too busy actually like leading the charge. Oh. Uh, you know, dealing with other people. No, they're going to fight Vampirella, apparently. No, she's not Vampirella. That's Lissa Drac. Okay. And Lissa Drac is a character in the story who is the keeper of the Book of Sinestro or something. Or the oh, Book so of Parallax, I should say. <sighs> what? They all have books? Of course yeah, they have books. they got their own books. Sinestro knows Sinestro they got it. a book. What? He's like, hey, they had a book over it. We gotta get a book. Parallax, get writing. You can write, write Parallax? <laughs> what? I'm a giant space alien dictate. monster. Can somebody <laughs> else write? <laughs> we'll get the ring to write. Ring, take this down. Yeah. <laughs> take a memo. Take a memo. Uh, rule number one, kill all the Green Lanterns. Rule number two, Sinestro's in charge. Rule number three, if you try to kill Sinestro, you're an asshole. The end. Okay, it's not really a book. This is more it's of more a like pamphlet. A, it's, more like a, it's more like a list, like a grocery list. <laughs> We'll make it into a book. Yeah. Just stretch it out. Just stretch it out. Pull, yeah. You know, it, okay. It's hour 22 before the final. You owe a term paper. Let's get rolling here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a whole lot of resources and quotes. And I'm like, I'm going to use this entire paragraph as a quote. And I'm going to need like uh, to quadruple space this, this bitch. <laughs> the funny thing is, is like, I'm not going with like 12 font. I'm yeah. going yeah. with like 12.5. 12 point, yeah. Just Yo. You know what you do? You also no. Anyway, you they make your periods the margins a little bit. Yeah, and you make your periods double the size. Oh uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of tricks. You, see, oh, and see? and every sentence instead of single space afterwards, mm -hmm. you do the double space oh. sentence. And then when you're done, save it as a PDF so they can't go and check out your tricks. So, <laughs> I had a cheat in college. <laughs> anyway, so so ranks deploys some weaponry and like turns it into kind of like drills. Ranks is the sentient city. Uh, and, and deploy some drills, and they're just like drilling into Mogo. Wait, the city oh. itself is sentient? Yeah. Like, I, like yeah. I said, like Dannyland from Doom Patrol. 
I'm sorry, I thought it was a concept. No, it's like a it's like a living city that's like, once I get done drilling this hole, I get to kill Guy Gardner, right? And they're like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but like, not whatever, I get to kill Guy Gardner. Because that's what's most important to me. That's what's sure. the- Sure. That's no, literally the driving sure. force. <laughs> like, for reals, I get to. Here's the thing. I'm pretty no. sure. I'm pretty sure Guy Gardner's in the center of this in this planet. You better drill and find him. He like better not, be in there. Because if he isn't, I'm a freaking city that has a Sinestro core ring or whatever. And I'm, I'm kill like ninety-five percent sure he's in there. <laughs> Don't quote me on this, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's there. So that he's so so ranks is drilling. The Sinestro core is protecting the drill. the The Green Lantern core is trying to de- trying to destroy it and All attack right. them. So their objective now is to uh, defend Mogo. Yes. Prevent Mogo from getting uh, drilled into. Drilled into and yeah. have his his his. his Ring get destroyed. Right. Uh, I also should at this point probably mention this major character that is very important. His name is Sodom Yacht, who is who was brought into the Green Lantern Corps and about whom there is an entire prophecy in the now burned Book of Oa. Ah. Oh, that's what they burned out. Part of that, yeah. Part of it is that Sodom Yacht is super important. Uh, Sodom Ooh. Yacht is a Daxamite. And Sounds familiar. Yeah, Daxamites are. A neighboring cousin world to Kryptonians. Didn't so the they look like humans. Weren't they involved in the invasion story? Yes. I remembered something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he's a Daxamite who looks like a human, which is to say he looks like a Kryptonian. But anyway, he, he's from the same solar system as as Krypton was. Okay, which one is he? He's this guy. Okay. And he was recruited and brought into the Green Lantern Corps and kept far, far in space. Because here's the thing about Daxamites, if they go to Earth, they'll fall under the Earth's yellow sun and then become Superman. Right. And what's wrong with that? And we don't want that. We really don't want to risk it. Also, with Daxamites, whereas Kryptonians can't see through lead because of their Kryptonian physiology. Sure. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Uh, Daxamites, it will poison them. Lead will? Yes. So, okay. so it's like, a, like lead normally would with anyone. Yes. Yeah. But it's also like super potent. It's like kryptonite to them. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Only it'll also like, yeah, yeah, it is like kryptonite. Because yeah. it'll kill them. And kryptonite doesn't hurt them, I assume. I don't know about kryptonite. Mm. I doubt it because it's not pieces of their home world. Right. You know, it's about the sun that gives them the power. Yeah. Not about the planet. So, okay. Sodom Yacht is a member of the Green Lantern Corps. And he's also like green. Not to say, haha, he's a Green Lantern, but also like he's new. Ah. He's a noob. And so Arisia, a member of the Green Lantern Corps who's also like uh, more idealistic, okay. she takes it upon herself to protect and counsel and safeguard Sodom Yacht. So the two of them kind of like are, t- are tandem. Okay. So wherever Sodom Yacht goes, Arisia's sure Arisia to right follow. There. Right. So, uh, Arisia's the like yellow orange chick? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. She's the elf. Mm-hmm. Got it. So uh, I just mentioned it because Sodom Yacht's important. And he'll come up later. What the hell was all that? <laughs> That's this? hilarious. Oh, you don't you like this this homage yeah. to the concept that was brought up in Emerald Twilight? Except yes. it should really be Kyle. Yes, but this actually happens though. Oh, what? So Lister Drax fights Hal and the Lost Lanterns. Guy and John show up like the cavalry and like kick ass and save the day, uh, but. Because Hal was too busy fighting Parallax before he got a chance to charge up his battery, or his ring, from the battery, he didn't get a chance to actually, like, recharge, so he's down to, like, nothing. He's, he's running on fumes. Okay. He's like, I don't even, they're like, we gotta go, we gotta go back to Owen, or we gotta go to Mogo, or, or wherever, we're all screwed. <laughs> we're, we're, somebody is hitting us real bad, and on every, every front. No one brings a power battery with them? Nah. Nah. That is real dumb. Yeah. You are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So, they're like, okay, well, what are we gonna do? I, I, I can't even like go into space right now. He's like, but because I was Parallax and I do know about fear, I'm going to use because they're in the weapons manufacturing plant of Quard, who ma- who made the rings okay. and the power batteries for those rings. Like, I'm going to use their rings against them. So he puts on all the rings from what? the Sinestro core that he could get. And then charges them all up from the nearby yellow powder battery. Yikes. And everyone suddenly goes, whoa, uh, like, no, uh, no, nope, not again. Nope, Last time nope, this happened, no one is like suspicious everything. or finds this curious. They're all like, trust in you, Hal Jordan. You are the greatest among us. 
Yes, if this is a good idea, then let it be so! You may do no wrong! Yeah. And should I, we should we follow suit and also grab yellow rings? No, just me! <laughs> Trust me. I no, I, I grabbed them all. Yeah, oh, there's none left. Also, the other you guys totally, have got the rings. I would totally give you some, but I need all of these. I need all ten of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, there's one on the floor! Here, I can join! No, give oh, me that no, one! I need that one, too. <laughs> that goes my pinky. All right, so... So he fights them, and... And give me one for my who? incredibly we'll small oh, dick, happening. apparently. He fights Lissa Drac. Oh, okay. You I know, thought they already fought her. No, no, no. Well, well yeah, that's that's actually true. They did kick oh, her ass. Okay. Yeah, they beat her up. They kicked her ass. He puts on the yellow rings. Yeah. And then he puts on the yellow rings, and Is then... Is she, like, reading them a story out of the book? No, she just... <laughs> she's chained to it, so I think she's just, like, like Jacob Marley. You know, she's just kind of carry <laughs> with her. But uh, he charges up. The, uh, the the guardians are like, we're going to rewrite the Book of Oa. Oh, they're going to do that. They're going to let him kill. Yeah. And uh, what's his name? The anti-monitor is kind of like torturing the Green Lantern Spectrum entity known as Ion. Oh, Ion, yeah. And so the Why? Lost Lanterns show up. and they Because well, he's a dick. And then Sinestro shows back up. And he's like, oh, my God. Look at you, Hal. You're wearing my rings. This is amazing. Like, <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, you have no idea what you're doing. Like, you, yeah. You... You merely adopted the dark. <laughs> like, yeah. There is no way I, that Sinestro would be fine with Hal Jordan grabbing a bunch of rings. Because he'd be like, you're going to replace me again? No, he's not like no! that. No! He's going to corrupt you, your mind. I now. like that idea, but it's more like he's just like, wow, look at how desperate you are. Yeah. Hey, man, I was parallax. I was I destroyed the entire Green Lantern yeah. with parallax. Like, I, no, it's true. I'm the ultimate badass. <laughs> With fear stuff. Yeah, I'm, so. I should. You should be I was, really you worried. Should be afraid. I was like a hundred times better than you, Sinestro. Yeah. yeah. You created a Yellow Lantern core. I had your entity inside of me. Was he inside of you? Because I'm pretty sure he wasn't. Yeah. Did he ever possess you at any point? Like, did no. he choose you? No, he chose me. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I thought. Well, because I'm the best. <laughs> and suddenly, like, <laughs> Sinestro's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fear, bitches. <laughs> that would be amazing. That does not happen in the story. So. Uh, Cyborg Superman, because he can control like metal and machines and stuff, uh -huh. he activates the Manhunters that were originally developed by the Guardians to help destroy the Green Lantern Corps. Okay. So, uh, Cyborg Superman just basically unleashes Manhunters. So it's like, oh, you got Green Lantern, you got you got Sinestro Corps members and Manhunters, and they're also. Jeez. Is that Ion? This? Yeah. 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 He's like a fish. A giant like shark koi fish. Fish koi, koi fish. thing. Yeah. So, does, does Sinestro need any more advantages? I right? don't understand. I mean, he needs every advantage because he's going to be defeated at the end. Right. So, like, uh, the, the the surviving Lost Lanterns free Ion from the Anti-Monitor oh. and then just, like, bail. The Anti-Monitor is, like, chasing after them, like, oh, no, you don't. Uh, yeah, it was like a raid. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, oh, yes, I do. So then all the Green Lanterns just, like, hop on board of the, the you know, the Ion train and then bail. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Because they're getting their asses kicked, so mm -hmm. you, you got one success. Get out of there. Yes, they're they're having little victories here or there. They saved Mogo, right? Oh yeah, yeah, Mogo? they did save Mogo. Yeah, yeah they they prevented Mogo's destruction, and so they're like, okay, oh thank God, all right. And then it turns. Does out, that mean like they destroyed the planet? No, like the sentient. Oh, the city? No, they didn't. But they defeated it. Okay, <laughs> they, they thwarted it, it from using the drill. Bingo. They can't even kill a sentient city. No, that'd be mm -hmm. worse than killing just one person. Yeah, it's an entire city. That's right. It's, it's, it's a living city, so there's no people in it, but whatever. So then the other part of Sinestro's plan is revealed. Because it, it seemed like Sinestro was going to destroy Oa, which is technically the center of the universe. Ah. And that would destroy the Green Lantern Corps and make everything like screwed up. But in actuality, the plan, at least anti monitors plan, is to destroy Earth. Okay. Because Earth is the center of the multiverse. So we destroy Earth, we take over everything and everything that ever has been, or would be, or could be. Because Earth is the most important thing. Well, they established earlier that Earth is like the center of the multiverse. <laughs> no, so. just, That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, and it's a decent plan. So uh, they send word to the Justice League, like, yo, Sinestro Corps members are coming, and they're going to try and destroy everything, so like, you know, watch out. And yeah, the Justice really, League is yeah, like, that sounds like a Green Lantern problem. Yeah. Oh, it sounded like a Green Lantern problem before. When, you know, you had this whole adventure without us, but whatever. <laughs> How come you never invite us? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the uh, the Antimonitor's with them, too, and he's going to destroy Earth. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, God. they resurrected him. Damn it. And you brought him back here? Green Lanterns? Well, Jesus. really, he decided to go 
to, to go back. How you are fired! <laughs> yeah. So the Guardians decide to instate the new rules. Ah, uh, yes. And, Excellent. Uh, that's, that happens by, <laughs> yeah, by the way, that happens when the city ranks is going to destroy Mogo. So uh. the Green Lanterns look like they're going to be defeated, and then everyone's just like, oh, sweet. And then they start killing. And they start, start killing. And then uh, when they start murdering... Sinestro Corps members. They become like filled with bloodlust and they can't no, stop. No, that'd be funny too, but that does not happen. No, instead, oh, and they create the Red Lantern Corps. That'd be amazing. Yep, nope. Yeah, no. So, no, it's established that it's already a core. It's already, it's already, already happened. No, it, well, they're established at the end of the story. Like, oh no, there's more. Uh, but wait, there's more. So uh, they start killing the Yellow Lanterns, but with such expert ease because like they're Green Lanterns. They've had years of training. Right, and these also Yellow Lanterns like, just started mm -hmm. doing stuff. And also they've been trained to not kill, so they're actually kind of like better at everything. So then you're like, oh, actually, it turns out you just have to push a button to make this thing happen. It's like, oh, well then I'm gonna push that button even better than anybody because I <laughs> I know how to do everything without the button. Right. So they're starting. Do you know like, how much I was holding back before? Exactly. So they're <laughs> slaughtering yellow engines, which makes the yellow engines go like pants crappingly afraid. Yeah. Which in turn weakens their resolve and their power. Right. Because their power is fueled by fear and their ability to instill it. Right. So they start fearing it or feeling it. As a result, they start to lose their own grasp, and then you start seeing yellow lantern rings flying all over the place. Yeah. Yikes. Yep. This is getting really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So then, Wait, uh, who controls where the yellow lantern or yellow? Uh, yeah. I believe that the anti monitor, or at least the the yellow battery, does. Oh. It's not really clear. I think the anti monitor has something to do with that. Uh. But uh, so then Sodom Yacht goes on to ranks, and then he finds out that you can kill everything, yeah. so he destroys ranks. What's ranks? The sentient city that was going to kill Mogo. Oh, I thought that was Quart. No, no, that's Quart the planet. is the planet that the Sinister Core lives on on the anti monitor universe. Oh. That created all the weapons. Oh. Yes, the weapon manufacturers. So they go and they, uh, you know, so, so Sodom blows up the city and seemingly dies. Oh. Because they're like, there's no way anyone would have survived, survived that explosion. And then Sodom Yacht's like, hey, I, I didn't die. Yeah, I'm, I made it. Hey, I made it. And they're like, oh, maybe the prophecy is true. And he's like, what prophecy? And they're like, oh, shut up. <laughs> so no, I thought they you're, weren't allowed to know about that. You're prophecy. not allowed to know. We all know, but you can't. Well, they, they, I think like a couple of them caught wind of the fact that sodium yacht was important. They're like, go get sodium yacht. It's really important. I can't tell you why. Ah, uh, I see. So then finally, the Sinestro Core War comes to Earth. Right. Because they've saved Mogo and now it's time to go. Right. So they go to Earth and. Superboy Prime leads the Sinestro Corps alongside Cyborg Superman and Sinestro to destroy Earth. Is Sinestro worried that like other parts of his plan didn't work? Or he's just like, ah, whatever. Not really. I don't really need to I'll destroy I'll tell you why in a little bit. Was that not the planet that was attacking? No, that was Ranks, the sentient city. This is War World, War World which yeah. was helped to be built by Cyborg Superman, who, you know... Oh, okay, so I just, thought I thought that sin, that city was on part of World World. No, no it, as it turns out, like, like a separate War World was the was the the kind of like mobile planet that the Sinestro Corps can use as a base as the Death Star, uh, but it doesn't shoot a laser. Uh, but, Unless the giant lantern on top shoots a laser, <laughs> right? Which I don't believe it does, but I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, but it's also houses all the Manhunters that Cyborg Superman re. Uh, yeah, ignites. what happened with that? He sent them out. Have they done anything? Oh, yeah. They they helped to kill Green Lanterns, but now that Green Lanterns can kill them, it's okay. But also they were robots, so I think they could kill them anyway. That's... But he's also bringing them to Earth. Right, okay. And don't forget, it's also a major event, so there's tie-ins that show up. Yeah, the, the, okay. the Manhunters. Right. Uh, I read my question. Was War World just, what is it, like an impound lot? Like, where was War no, World? No, uh, every time they make a War World, they usually destroy it. So, like, oh, so they had to build a new one. one. But Cyborg Superman can, like, make things really fast out of machinery, so I he see. probably did very easily. Why wouldn't he just build like five war worlds? Because Cyber Superman's plan is not to take over the universe. Okay. Cyber Superman teamed up with the Sinestro Corps because he knew that the Anti-Monitor would be its guardian. And every time that Cyber Superman is defeated, he is straight up murdered. But he always comes back. Right. And he wants to die. Oh. And so he's like, I will help you Anti-Monitor if you kill me. And I think you have the power to do it. Interesting. And Antimonitor is like, you got it, buddy. And also to answer oh, yeah. your, your question, they only build one because hubris. Yeah. yeah I guess. It's like, what do yeah. I need two for? <laughs> this one will work. Yeah. All right. So they Plus start it's, attacking it's, at the, it's, it's got Cyber Superman at the helm. He can always like fix it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So they attack Earth. 
uh, we go to Coast City, which has been rebuilt. Yeah. Like, uh, actually rebuilt Actually this time. rebuilt, not with Green Lantern power. <laughs> like, actual buildings and stuff. What's funny about Coast City... Did Hal freak out when that happened? No. They're like, you have to put it all back the way it was! No, <laughs> it's just that they rebuild it. But what's funny about Coast City is that Hal Jordan's brother and his family move in, but, like, no one else does. Wait, what? Yeah, Hal they Jordan is a brother. They were killed? No, they were someplace They else. weren't home. They were not home. They weren't living in Coast City at the time. So yeah. now they're there. But anyway... Uh, so it's, they, like, abandoned? It's, it's, it's more like they built this city and they're like... Okay. We built this. We don't own that. <laughs> <laughs> but they like we we built it, it, it and 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 we've got uh, and we're doing we're doing a great uh, two for one sale. Like come, yeah, on. come on, tumbleweed. Yeah, no yeah. one wants to it's move. It's not gonna there. get blown up this time. We promise. Yes. Guess what? It's the first place blown up when they attack. No, but Sinestro is like I would love. Actually, I think Parallax is like I would love to to mess up that city though. That'd be amazing. <laughs> But, uh, but people, there like, are a few people who live in Coast City. Oh, but, God! But by and large, Coast City sucks, and it's, and it's abandoned. But there are people who live there, and that's okay. important to, to, to note. Okay. That Coast City kind of like suffered from the poor PR of the Green Lantern right. story. Right. But there are a few people who are like, I'll move there. Like, I, I, need, the, I need a place to live. How does anyone still live in Gotham if that's the exactly. case? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> That Gotham has roving bands of lunatics in colorful costumes that murder people every single day. Not to mention all the crime families that move in there every single day. And it's still packed to the gills with Gothamites. But one time, the whole city blows up. <laughs> well, yeah, that is very different. The thing is that like, if, if you wake up every day and read the papers about how other people die in the city you live in, you might be able to divorce yourself from the happenings of that city. Yeah. But if you wake up one morning and you're reading the paper and then you're vaporized. <laughs> you're not going to be reading the paper anymore. <laughs> you're not moving back in. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Parallax goes to Coast City and he actually shows up, you know, in Kyle Rayner's body yeah. at Hal Jordan's brother's place. And he's like, hey, he's going to kill Hal Jordan's niece. Yeah. And Jordan's like, oh, no, you don't. So then Jordan fights Parallax and then runs out of charge. Uh, again? He, he only had the charge from... He only had the power of the Sinestro core rings that he was right, using. Right. And then he got rid of them. Um, so he gets Why to Why did Earth. he get rid of them? That was dumb. He's not going to use them. He's not a Sinestro core member. <laughs> so he shows up. He kicks... He, he, he punches Parallax Wait, how did bit. he power up then? He doesn't, he doesn't power up. He hasn't powered up yet. No, he powered up at the time because there was a yellow lantern... Yeah, he didn't power up anything. Building. He just took some Green Lantern. Yeah. He took some some Yellow Lantern rings and he used those. They were right there. But then he used them up, and now he's. Dead. And then he used them up, and he, he went to Earth, and then he used the the last like two percent of his power to go punch Parallax a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So he, what happened in that fight? I don't even remember. He, he had all the rings. Oh, he, he fights Sinestro. Sinestro. Oh, he fights Sinestro, and then Ion's freed, and then they all leave. Oh, that was on the. Okay. That was yeah, that was on Cord. I wasn't realizing that was the same. The, was the same, same fight. thing. That was all yeah. one fight. Okay. Yeah. So, wow, so he, wait a minute, he gets all the fear rings, and he just uses them, and it just works, and then he's fine? When he uses them... So he was right? It's just an excuse to put it on the cover. Uh. He uses them to fight a little bit, and then the second there's an opportunity to bail, he bails. And he drops all those things, and he leaves. Because he's not an asshole, he right. uses fear rings. Like, no, Even it's, Batman I just... doesn't use the fear ring... But he does use them a little bit. I feel like there should be negative consequences. But there aren't because it's Hal Jordan. Oh, and it's Jeff Johns creating this. Right. Yes. So It's just awesome. So Hal runs out of power. He can do no wrong. That's right. That's right. So he's he so faces up against Parallax. Parallax pretends that Kyle's coming out. He's like, help me. I'm like, help. So like it looks like he's like, fight him with your will, Kyle. You're strong. Not as strong as me, but still pretty awesome. <laughs> so Kyle like... Kyle seemingly bursts through Parallax's mouth and reaches for Hal as Hal loses his power. So now just Hal Jordan, straight up, dude, Hal Jordan grasps Kyle Rayner's hand and then Parallax is like, psych! And then just starts pulling Hal Jordan into him. He doesn't like bite his hand off that has the ring on it? No. Awesome. He just absorbs, uh, no, he absorbs Hal Jordan. What a punk. And then becomes, you know, super Parallax with both Kyle Rayner and Hal Jordan inside of him. <laughs> okay. Super Parallax. He doesn't call himself Super Parallax. Right, but that's what I'm he, calling him that. He turns yellow, too. He, he does turn he, yellow. He He's like, which he wasn't before. No. Well, no. because now it's like, it's not an homage anymore. Now I'm something different. Yeah. I'm still Parallax. I might as well be yellow now. Yeah. So, the... What the, What's the point of being an homage if the person that I was the homage of is inside of me? Yeah. He can't see it. Screw <laughs> it. Exactly. I was using it to instill fear. I can't fear taunt him anymore with it, so anymore. I might as well be... 
become this other thing that I want to be. Exactly. It's even more complicated looking. Yeah. Uh, so Guy and John try to fight Parallax, and then a whole bunch of Sinestro Corps members show up to kill them until the rest of the Green Lantern Corps shows up and just starts slaughtering them. Oh. Uh, meanwhile, Superboy Prime goes to New York along with the Cyborg Superman to fight the Justice League. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, oh man, it's Superboy Prime. <laughs> By the way, this guy sucks. The, uh, the estate of uh, one of the creators of Superman was, 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 was uh, suing DC at the time because they do that every couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and part of it was like, okay, well, we can't have Superman, but we'll take Superboy because they created Superboy too. Right. So Superboy Prime changes his name to Superman Prime because he's old enough now. Ah, so so he's different. Yeah, so we can but do that. now DC I think owns Superboy in perpetuity, so they can call him Superboy Prime all the time. But he does declare himself Superman Prime later uh, in the story. I was gonna say it didn't look like Superboy earlier; it just looked like an older version of a weird version of Superman. Yes, yeah. and and and, 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 and it, it was it was done on purpose. Yes, yeah. So deep inside, I guess Kyle's body, but really like Parallax, <laughs> Hal finds Kyle. And he's okay. like, "Come on, you got to you got to get yourself out of there." And he's like, "No, man, like I'm he's depressed and he's miserable and he's afraid." Yeah. And he's like, "I can't. My mom died because of me and I can't I can't like, free myself." And come on, Kyle, draw your way out of this. Yeah, right? Uh but instead, <laughs> Guy Gardner is sent to go get the painting cuz Hal's like, "Uh, you got to get this painting." He said something about a painting in his house. So he gets a painting that his mom made and he shows it to Parallax. And this Freeze Kyle and Hal. They both blast out of him. Because, because he saw a painting. Because yes. the painting reminded him of, of his mom. mom. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> Parallax has no host and he's gonna like eat them or some shit. Well, I thought they destroyed him. No, they they freed themselves from him. But he's ah. still a he's still a bug monster. Ah. So then Gant Gant and his girlfriend show up with power batteries for everybody. And they're like, get <laughs> out of here. So they suck Parallax between the two bad or the the four batteries they brought. Oh, they become traps. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Ganthet and his girlfriend get kicked out of the uh, Guardians. They're like, get out. You, you two are smooching behind our backs, <laughs> and you don't like the fact that we're writing new rules, yeah. and you didn't like our killing plan, so get out. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we were going to quit anyway. Bye. <laughs> so We still have green lantern power, though. Yeah, so they yeah. steal a few lanterns, and then they leave, and they give the power batteries to the four humans that they chose, or Gantha chose, to be Green Lanterns in the first place. Oh, so, that's why there's four. Okay. And they go, hey, uh, and then Gantha goes to Kyle and he's like, hey man, listen, you're not Ion anymore. And you're not the only Green Lantern anymore. But would it be so terrible if you were a Green Lantern again? Is that like, is that beneath you? And he's like, no nah, man, I'm just lucky to be part of the team. So then they give him a battery and he becomes a Green Lantern thereby cementing Kyle in irrelevancy forever. <laughs> so then everyone becomes Green Lanterns and gets to charge up their stuff. And now we've got like the best, super coolest Green Lanterns ready to fight the Sinestro Corps. Who yeah. can kill? Who can now kill? Okay. So Seems like they were doing a pretty good job, actually, the Green Lantern Corps. Oh they yeah, no, they were really people. like, they were kicking ass. Yeah, but now they got the humans there. Mm -hmm. the Wait, what the hell is happening with Ion then? Well, Superboy Prime is kicking ass and taking names. And then the anti-monitor shows up and he's like, oh, excellent. This is, this is the place of the people that killed me. Yes. Let's, let's mess things up. And so uh, Kilowog and the rest of the core, including uh, Sodium Yacht and Orisia, they show up to try and kick ass. And when they show up, now Sodium Yacht is getting some yellow solar radiation. Mm. He doesn't know that he can become a Superman. Ah. So he gets solar radiation and a Green Lantern ring and he just starts like mopping the floor with everybody. And uh, where's real Superman? Where's real Superman? He's fighting Superboy Prime. Oh. He, he was fighting Cyborg Superman, I believe. Oh, okay. Because at first he fought uh, so Superboy Prime, but we had to stop that because Superboy Prime's got to fight Sodium Yacht. Oh. <laughs> uh, because that's the coolest thing we could possibly imagine right now. Right, okay. So because, the, the, because Ion doesn't have a vessel, uh, the Green Lantern Corps decides uh, that Sodom Yacht, who is like super powerful and basically is like a Green Lantern Superman, uh, we're going to give him Ion. So they make, and that's the prophecy. The prophecy is that Sodom Yacht is going to become Ion. Oh. Because Sodom How does really this important. get chosen? Wouldn't Ion choose that? Uh, uh, no. Why don't you just put him back where he was? No. We're, well, he's manifested by the, the power of the Green Lantern Corps. So okay. it's, he's, 
He's not like Parallax just kind of like floating around. It's more like that he exists because there is a core in the first place. Right, so go back to the green power battery. No. Live there. No, I need a person now. I've, 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 in, I've inhabited bodies and I kind of dig it. So <laughs> I'm going to start doing that from now on. So then Sodom Yacht becomes Ion and now he's like even more powerful. Oh. Plus it's like Superman became Ion and then Superboy Prime sees that and he's like, hey, you look like you're an easy target. I'm going to punch you. An and easy like, target? Because <laughs> Superboy Prime's a dick and he's like, so he and Sodom Yacht fight and, and but, they have a big But fight. Ion doesn't and change how uh, Sodom Yacht looks. No. Much he, like Parallax. Yeah, makes. Morphs. No. Kyle. Uh, he does get a new costume. And how? Well, you get a new costume. A little yeah, bit of new get, costume, but it like, doesn't morph his face into like, some well, weird no, fish it, it person. Morph, Sodom Yacht uh, isn't an evil entity. It's just, a, it's, a, it's, it's just the power of Ion? will. Yeah. It didn't morph uh, Kyle Rayner when it was in him either. Yeah, yeah it did. No, it, didn't. it morphed his face. No, but he had a mask on. What, oh, I'm sorry, you mean yeah, Ion. Oh, Ion. Ion, no. yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. So why would it mess up Sodom Yacht either? Exactly, it wouldn't. Because yeah. so, it's good. It doesn't fuck with exactly. your face. Exactly. It, it's, I, it's, I still want you to be pretty. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, and yeah. So we get a we get an origin story for Sodom Yacht. It's just that like Ugh, now. Yeah. Uh, the Daxamites don't like <laughs> the Daxamites don't like technology or out or outer space. It's why the Daxamites didn't help the Kryptonians because they weren't even aware. They 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 forbade space travel. They hate like you know advanced technology and 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 looking at the stars like focus inward. It's, okay. a, it's a it's a criticism on it's isolationism. It's a very zen kind of thing, I guess. No, it's no. it's isolationism. It's a criticism of, of being like, you know, eyes on your own paper. So, uh, the second so, that Sodom Yacht is offered the opportunity to leave by being a member of the core, he takes it because he was like obsessed with the idea of the of outer space. He's he got the germ of like being interested in in in, okay. you know, in the outside. Anyway, so that's the story of Sodom Yacht. So uh, <laughs> Sodom Yacht fights Superboy Prime. Superboy Prime is an asshole the entire time because that's who he is. Yeah. He uh, he goes to like a graveyard and he grabs a couple of gravestones and he like rewrites some commandments, you know, about like uh, how I'm awesome, and oh like and then like God. punches Sodom Yacht with them. It's just he is just like just the worst. Shouldn't Sodom Yacht like easily defeat him since he has all his powers and no, more? No, no, because Sodom because Superboy Prime comes from the pre-crisis. Superman oh, universe right. where Superman can like punch reality itself. Yeah, yeah and, and like planets out of their orbit and shit. And yeah. Superboy Prime just landed on Earth. So he's like Solar still earning radiation. the yeah. radiation. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So he kicks the tar out of Sodom Yacht and seemingly defeats him. This Earth fight is taking way too long. It takes a long time because it's a big cool fight and like the, you don't understand how many Superboy Prime fans there are who really, really like this character and want to see him be a douche and fight somebody and show off how powerful he is. How is Earth not getting trounced when this is oh, happening? Because sure there's a is. ton of Green Lantern Corps and the Justice League and stuff. Oh yeah, and there's never collateral damage when that no, happens. There, oh, there is. is, and the Green Lantern Corps stays. All of the core stays to help rebuild. Oh, that's nice. So cutting back to the four cool Green Lanterns, uh, yeah. you know, the Earthlings. Whoa, whoa, the time humans. out. What happened to my Kyle, uh, Kyle, John, Guy, Hal team? That's what I'm talking about yeah. right now. No, I know. That's, that's, oh, yeah. that's what out. Jeff John is saying. Exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, everyone likes Superboy Prime, but Hal Jordan, though. So Hal gets a call from uh, Ganthet and his girlfriend, uh -huh. and they're like, hey, listen, so like the, the, the Guardians have like a secret prophecy. You got to watch out for Blackest Night, and... There's gonna be more cores, and I'm setting up a whole bunch of stuff. So, like, listen, pay attention. But I gotta go, because uh, we're gonna go make our own core. Uh, so, what? bye. And so, Ganthet the and Ganthet his... core? No, it's the Hope core. Oh. So they they have cool. just enough power to create to change the color and and make their own core. <laughs> well, I mean, they're already blue. Yeah. Screw it. Yeah. yeah. So makes more sense. Uh, Hal and Kyle go to Hal's brother's place to like check out things and go like, hey, you gotta evacuate the city, man, man, because things are going things are going off. Right. And, and Hal's like, brother should, or Hal's yeah, yeah, brother. brother should just be like, no, I've abandoned it once, even though I never lived here. Right. I'm not going to leave yeah. again. No, Hal's brother's like, no. Like, you're being brave. We're going to be brave. We're staying. I don't oh. care about everybody else. We're going to stay. Okay. And so they're like, okay. What are so, you going to do to help? Nothing. They're going to stay. So like, <laughs> then, well, so Hal's brother teams up with everyone who's living in Coast City, and they all light All green, ten of them? Yeah, like, that, but they all light Green Lanterns. What? To, it, it, like, actual Green Lanterns. Where do they get them? And they put like 
green filament over everything. Who no, cares? They get green every, tissue paper. Yeah. Or, yeah. But they, they light green <laughs> lanterns. Everyone gets a little bit of copper and puts it in their flame. Oh. Sure. Because that's what creates green fire. So they do. They go to Michael's and, and they just buy it out of all the green. Right. You know what? Which everyone everyone cracks some green glow sticks yeah. and starts raving. Oh, yeah, it's what yeah. it looks like, but they, they illuminate the city with a green light. Emboldening Hal to like, you know, do to it, try harder to kick butt, fight, fight, fight more. Exactly. Fight how about more. how about everyone gets like a green flashlight when they move back to Coast City? Oh, I guess <laughs> it's yeah, like, like an incentive, right? I don't, I don't know if that's your, enough your, for and me. Here's your green flashlight. <laughs> Thanks. Just in case you know everything's gonna fall apart, and you, you need don't to remember. Green lanterns. So Hal and the foursome take the fight to Sinestro, and then the Guardians show up. Uh, we've sat out this fight way too long. We're gonna <laughs> do something. They were waiting for the right moment. Yeah, so they, they show up and they get rid of the anti-monitor. What do they do? Where do they put him? All is not lost with the anti-monitor. We'll, right. we'll, we'll check back in with him in a little bit. It looks like the, the Guardians, like, defeat him. Though. Right. It, it would be away. awesome if they're like, no, we wrote, we, we wrote the rules just so we could kill the anti-monitor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We don't care about the yellow lanterns. At right, like, one. oh, rule number two, we can kill the anti-monitor. <laughs> <laughs> we are strong enough to kill the anti-monitor. Yeah. It's a rule. It has to happen. Exactly. So War World rolls up into orbit, sets up the possibility of, like, destroying everything. The Anti-Monitor's kicking ass, like, really, it's overkill at this point. You got all these Sinestro Corps members, you got the Anti-Monitor, you got War World, <laughs> you know, you got Superboy Prime, you got well, the Cyborg and Superman, Sinestro, and his Manhunters, like... Sinestro doesn't want the multiverse to be destroyed, right? He's not on board with the Anti-Monitor plan. He has a very, very simple plan that has very little to do with most of the thing that's happening right now. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> War World's gonna be activated, and the Greenlanders go fuck War World because War World's really like the size of like Newark. Okay, it's not technically it's not a, a world. world. It's it's barely a moon. <laughs> so okay. the uh, it's like an asteroid. Yeah. Yes. So the Green Lantern Corps who are at that fight chain up War World and then just smash it into the Earth. Oh. Destroying Where? Why War in world. the Earth? Just oh, throw into it in the, the city sun. that's already been destroyed. Ah. Uh. In a coast city? No. New York City. Oh, it's even better. The, the Justice League got a call earlier, so they evacuated. Uh, oh yeah, they evacuated all of New York because New Yorkers are very New Yorkers are so compliant. Oh yeah, and would listen. Oh, oh no, no definitely. I'm not leaving my home. There's like a hundred people died or something. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not good, but it's here's not, the thing. You know. If 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 you were to do that, the Flash would just zip in and remove you anyway. But here's the yeah. thing. I'm sure in this world, uh, when you smash War World into New York City over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Superman is just letting that happen, and then he's yeah. gonna find someone and snap their neck. Superman does not do that. <laughs> so, the uh, I'm pretty sure Superman would do that. I, I believe there's an entire movie <laughs> that proves exactly that there, there is a movie. Yeah, I'm looking forward to its sequel. I'm sure it's coming soon. So, <laughs> the Green Lantern Corps pushes War World into the Earth and kind of like on top of the Anti Monitor too, because screw him. Oh. And then Cyborg Superman shows up with his Legion of Manhunters, and he's like, "Hey, Green Lanterns." And then they kill him. Yay! Like, he, they actually kill him. Yeah, thing. they destroy him. He's, like, unmade. And because of his tether to the Manhunters, uh, they Phantom Menace up and they turn off. So then oh. uh, Hal fights Sinestro. And Sinestro... Oh, so Hal fights Sinestro. Hal grabs, like, a Manhunter... Because Manhunters can also like absorb lantern power. That's like one of their functions. Okay. So he uses a stray Manhunter to siphon out the power from Sinestro. Oh. But not himself. Yeah, but also Hal used a lot of his power. So he's out of, he's out of juice again. Yeah. So basically, Hal, Ky Hal and Kyle just punch Sinestro. <laughs> and so they just fight him. Just like a normal dude. Yes. It's just like a man-on-man -man fight. Exactly. Just and it's also Fist two on comes. one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But it's not fair at all. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile. So then, yeah. So meanwhile, Superboy Prime breaks free from his assailants and then goes and then kills the Anti Monitor by driving himself through it because the Anti Monitor was going to destroy the multiverse. Right. He's like, but I'm in the multiverse. I'm from that. I'm and living there right how, now. How can I rule this planet if you destroy it? Right. So then he kills the Anti-Monitor and then throws his body into space. So okay. all of the Sinestro core is starting to break apart mm -hmm. yeah, because now apart. they're all realizing, but at the end, I'm supposed to win. Yeah. yeah. I have completely Not the team, different goals just than me. everyone else. Yeah. 
So well, they're not like they're not like the the orange lanterns of which there are like one or two because the orange lantern is greed. Yeah, right. it's more about like hubris and 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 power. Well, and but, he's having different visions of success yeah. yes. that are but, mutually exclusive. Exactly. You've got Cyborg Superman who has his own vision. Mm -hmm. You've got yeah. Su Superman Prime. Yeah. You've got the Anti Monitor yeah. who apparently was banished, yep. but was still there yeah. enough to well, have he, a world dropped no, on was, him. Well, the Anti Monitor was dead, and then they resurrected him and then made him into the Guardian of the, of the Sinestro Corps. Well, yeah, but then the then the guardians banished him. Did something? Well, they to they him. attacked him. They didn't banish him. They attacked him. I'm they sorry. Attacked. Oh, and that just weakened him. I it guess. weakened him. Yes. But oh, okay. He still had to be have Kill. more world dropped on him, and, and then, then, then Superman Prime. Prime. Fly through. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, because the anti monitor should take a lot. It should take a lot. Yeah. And, and the did. Justice League is just sitting back and eating chips, watching they're, this happen. They're saving they're people. The, the, it's the happening Central on the on the on the smoking corpse of New York City. So <laughs> yeah. here's the thing: this isn't this isn't a Justice League book. Yeah, it's not. It's a Green yeah. Freaking Lantern <laughs> book. So then, uh, Superboy Prime is just mopping the floor with the Justice League, and mm. then one of the Guardians shows up at Superboy Prime. And he's like, "Okay, it's enough out of you." And Superboy Prime's like, no, screw you. And he grabs his neck and he's like, he's digging his fingers into his giant, stupid Smurf head. Uh -huh. And he's like, what's going on in there? Because he's, when he's starting to dig in there, like green light starts pouring out. Ew. He's like, what's that light? He goes, is this how you dwarves bleed? And he goes, no, this is how we die. And then oh. he just blasts all the power out from within him and seemingly dies and vaporizes Superboy Prime. Oh, which guardian was that? This is one of them. <laughs> Not he, like a special one. That he doesn't get a name. Of. No. So nameless guardian. Okay. Yes. Superman Prime. S super S cyborg Superman. He's dead. Gets vaporized. Yeah, he's vaporized. Yeah. Superboy uh, Prime gets vaporized. Yes. Uh, Anti Monitor gets blasted in half and then thrown into space. space. All right. And Sinestro gets punched in the nose. Uh, he just killed <laughs> Superboy <laughs> Prime <laughs> in his book. This yeah. Random Green comes, Lantern book. He comes back. Yeah, of course. But he's a skeleton! Yeah, he How do you come back. back from being a skeleton? Well, it's... it's Ask Wolverine. Yeah. So, okay. the rest of the Sinestro Corps is rounded up and then arrested. They get their power taken away from them because they're all afraid, so they get their... Well, By arrested, you mean no, like... Get, because that's not what they do! Like, they, <laughs> that's they exactly what they've been doing this entire time! Why don't police just murder every suspect they encounter? Like, well, they were. No, they were fighting people who were trying to kill them. Now that they're defeated, no, you don't have okay. to just slaughter them. That's, right. yeah, okay, line up. <laughs> Dig a trench with your own power ring. Bam! And then they're all, their bodies just fall into the, into the ground. <laughs> that would be pretty... That pretty, would be pretty messed gruesome. up. <laughs> okay, so they stop fighting. Yes! Okay, they give up, I guess, when Sinestro is punched repeatedly. Yes. What does Sinestro do? He's just like, oh, stop. And, I'm sorry, stop. what is Parallax me? doing like, this entire time? They just beat him. Oh, what's Parallax doing? Remember, they absorbed the Ganthet and his girlfriend yeah, they, absorbed they, Parallax into four different into power, four batteries. power batteries. So basically, he's taking care of a little while. Yeah. Though. So the, the the Earthling Green Lanterns are responsible for like keeping a piece of Parallax. One fourth. Of but also like they're vulnerable and by the to way, yellow. Like now that the Parallax is in their power battery, yeah, they they should be vulnerable to yellow. I don't recall if that's true or not, but hmm. so Ganthet and his girlfriend uh, make the make the uh, they make the blue ring the, the blue ring or the. Uh, Indigo. Indigo. The Indigo tribe. The Indigo. It's Hope. Yeah. Oh. And uh, Hope. And, uh, and then we establish all the retcons we're going to do. So oh, the, boy. The, 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 so, oh, the day is saved, right? Yeah. Sinestro is defeated, but what Sinestro wanted... Well, we'll get to that in a second. Hmm. But, like, Sinestro is defeated. The Green Lantern Corps gets like, you know, reconstituted. Uh, you know, Anti-Monitor is gone. Superboy Prime wakes up in another universe... He was he was not vaporized. He was, he was teleported. He was teleported into the multiverse. So he's already in the multiverse. Well, now well, he's in another part of it, in the multiverse. In another place that's hard to get back from. The guardians decide like, okay, this is great, but like, Blackest Night is coming. Uh oh. And also, we need to start rewriting this book. Uh, Sinestro. Hey, I have an idea. Let's rewrite it so that Blackest Night isn't in it. Right? But they don't. So Sinestro is arrested and put inside the power battery where he was in the first place. Uh -huh. Uh, Ganthet and his girlfriend make the, the Indigo tribe, and Cyborg Superman's, like, dead head is no! floating in space. Yeah. And then the Manhunters, the remaining Manhunters who didn't Phantom Menace off, uh, they find him, and they're like, we need you. You are our leader. And so they bring him back to life, That's and they start rebuilding so... him. And Cyborg Superman just conjures one single tear, being like, no. 
<laughs> I, I was dead. I was dead. And then Necron from Blackest Night, we don't yeah. know what's Necron yet, he resurrects, or rather pulls up the dead corpse of the Anti-Monitor and then reforms him into the power battery for the Black Lanterns. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. dun no, we did it already. So, at the end <laughs> of this... excited. At the end of this book, yeah. pretty much everyone that was defeated has a just comes come back. back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Sinestro's plan was to make things so dire for the Green Lantern Corps that the Guardians would unlock the no-killing rule, mm. which is what he's always wanted in the first place, to make the Green Lantern Corps stronger. He's like, this is what I've been trying to convince you guys of since, the, since day one. And now that you can kill, the Green Lantern Corps will become stronger by instilling fear in the galaxy. People will be afraid of the Corps now, which is how you're supposed to be strong. Here's, what here's the great thing. Why don't they go back and re- make the rule now that they don't need it anymore? Because it's in the book. So it, sh- so it was written, so it shall be. <laughs> you, know, until- you just wrote it like a minute ago. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember anybody who did that. Uh, do you do you see a timestamp on this? Yeah, it's uh, just words. When did it happen? Uh, amongst a core group of, of people who are eons old, who don't share their information with anybody. Yeah, that's what I thought. How do you even know that it's new? You know. <laughs> oh no, we we just found it. It was always you, there. It was you, always know what, there. you know what it was? It was dog. Uh, it was it was, was dog eared. So it was covered up. They so they couldn't do it. it. And now it's open. Yeah. Um, because it was covered up, we had no, it, it basically cancels. And it, out. it was dog eared uh, because it was so important. So we we enacted it immediately. That yeah. sounds like bullshit. Does it? Well, then you're not a Green Lantern anymore. <laughs> Sinestro so, Core War. Are there consequences of that? Wait, later, where they're like, oh, like oh, where it they ruins everything. Be? No. So Sinestro won. Yeah. Sinestro once again proved that he is the greatest Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can get a copy of this in the description <laughs> box below this video. I'll make it available. It's it's a great fun read, but. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Wow. A couple of ridiculous uh, do you, things. I mean, do you it's think intense. it's possible it's intense. to argue that Sinestro is in fact the greatest Green Lantern because he becomes the biggest enemy of the Green Lantern to improve the core? Yeah, absolutely. That's a total thesis. Oh, out there, if you're an undergrad, you can get away with that. Like how a villain is actually the good guy because without the bad guy, you can't have a good guy. Right. Yes. How do you, good, goodness is relative if there's no bad to measure it against. Yeah. But that's a story for another time. We'll see you guys next time with another episode of Back. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. Man, I didn't bring any rings out. I have a freaking power battery on the set. (laughs) I didn't put it on the damn table.